Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Promise Neverland season 2 episode number 8. Alright, uh, the previous episode, um, like Norman, Emma and Ray had a conversation and uh, like Norman said that if you guys find out, you know, uh, Mujika and Sonju, we'll think about it. Uh, you know, about the whole like killing of all the demons and all of those stuff and uh they like norman uh, not norman uh, ray and emma agreed but turns out that that's just something that he said to appease them for that moment i'm not sure what the, he'll do like norman after that like after talking with his friends his new friends um he like it turned like it seemed as if he plans to go on with his plan which i'm not sure if he'll stop at the last moment or like he'll continue with it but yeah and like uh, that and also like Norman and Emma uh, Emma and Ray are out uh, looking for Sonja and Mujika so that as well so let's see let's see how this goes so yeah without further ado let's get started with Promised Neverland season 2 episode number 8 all right I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown 3 2 1 Go. Okay. I can kind of see you know why like uh, like I've heard a lot of com like I've seen a lot of comments saying that uh, the ending of the manga kind of became bad in a way like a lot of like most of the uh, like audience did not enjoy it <clears throat> and like the way it started Promise Neverland did not end like it should have so I can see a little bit of it you know like it became a lot slower this season you know like in season one each and every episode was like such an amazing experience none of it is in this season like i don't know like what happened like it became so slow and so generic in this season that i have to say like i don't know like it's going the same path that all anime goes and it's you know i'm tired of that same path over and over again yeah let's see like i've started it i'll have to complete it okay yeah this scene as well oh who is this okay who are you mr ratri what Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he can study and people study him as well. You know. Well, he got a way to, you know, uh, survive. So he's obviously going to take it. <laughs> Isabella's eyes are hollow. It's like, may you be happy. Okay. Yeah, we're seeing Norman's past now. Okay. Perfect score. <clears throat> Damn. Wow, slowly, yeah. Okay, so see, he's a genius. Whoa, what was that? Hmm. Hmm. 
First genius, wow. Lambda's upcoming plan. Gatekeeper. Oh boy, he is another one of those same typical villains. Great. Wow. I think this guy is not happy with that. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's no pen. Oh. On the other side. Wow, Rubik cubes. A uh, Rubik's cube. Oh, he is using it to communicate. Okay. Okay, he understood by the placement of the thing, you know, like, uh, I think the left handed person or right handed person was there. Oh, haha, <laughs> wow, that's smart. Oh my god, wow. Okay, this is amazing. Damn, he has, you know, uh, really like his body has become so thin. Oh, my God. Oh. Six cameras. Okay, we're going to see the, you know, breakout. Most probably this episode. This is personnel. Wait, where will you get the explosives? How? I'm guessing using the chemicals that they use or something? Damn. Ha! Oh my god, yeah, so many Damn Oh, this is a researcher Oh, you god. Yeah, like obviously like they being, you know, treated to such horrific experiments after that. Whoa, they've captured the demons. Yeah, die. Okay, that was the short little flashback. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, definitely. Okay. Oh, so another demon? Hmm. Excuse me. Oh, a demon. Yeah, whatever. Like, you know, uh, 
finding them in such a huge place is really difficult without any clues. Like I'm thinking how many days will it take for them to ask to find them? Like uh, Norman gave them a deadline, didn't he? Like five days I, as far as I can remember. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, don't go. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> like I said it too too late. Oh, hello there. You look beautiful today. <laughs> what is that thing, spider? Like, these type of demons are extremely, you know, common. Like we saw one in one of the previous episodes as well, the spider demons. Okay. Yeah, time's ticking. What now? Oh, they've only spent one day? Wow. Okay, this is Vincent. I remembered his name from the flashback. Whoa. Well... Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Well, uh, like I also thought about this, like maybe he has some other plans. Okay. Two. Wow. I hope so. One more day. Okay, the last place. Okay, well. Hmm, that's quite true, you know? Like, they want, don't want to be near the demons from the town. Oh, those are who's? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, okay. I can feel like, you know, they are rushing it, the whole thing. Like, it's happening so fast. Ah! Oh! Oh my god! Oh boy. No, you're not Daijobu. <laughs> the situation is not Daijobu as well. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, she got hurt badly. Oh! Damn! Okay, they can hear it. Oh! 
Okay, she noticed that. Wow. <laughs> That's scary. Okay, but Emma can, you know, run well. Um, but I don't think that's going to help. Oh! Okay. Did that kill him? Was that so easy? Like, only... The arrow just hit its eye, so... Oh my god, yeah, as, as I said, like, that's... Uh, okay. It's so freaking dark, I can't see what's happening here. Oh, Mujika is here. Well, the thing, yeah. Now, uh, about that, haha. <laughs> Oh boy, spoke too soon. What? Oh no, okay, <laughs> wow. So that was his plan, like, like, you know, luring them into some other place and destroying the whole, okay, I can, okay, like, that's what he wanted. Oh, oh my god. Okay, well. Hmm. Yeah, you're gonna have to, to do some explanations, you know, if you meet them after this. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, um... Oh great, this is Attack on Titan, yeah. I remember this scene, you know? Yeah, he doesn't care. Whatever. <laughs> like that was his plan. I can think. Like, uh, like we can un like understand now. So he wanted them to go away so that he can do his own stuff. Wow. <laughs> like that was a really good plan, you know. Like, <laughs> like thinking about it from Norman's perspective. Oh my God. Like great. But now, like the question is, did he really need uh, Mujika then? You know, as as he said. Like, as Norman said, that we... Yeah. What? Oh, he... Like, he still thinks Emma is a demon. So, uh, that's the same guy, isn't it? The, that visited Emma and the... Okay! Oh my god, please! Oh lord, here we go. Oh, that's... I was thinking Emma, he was talking about her. Yeah, Norm, uh, like Norman... The thing that you're doing is the same as the demons. But he kind of said that I can become a demon or a god for this.
Okay. Oh my god, yeah. What? Oh, he's going to feed her. Norman, you're weak. I thought you had the resolute, like, you know, resolve. Like, the thing that you're doing needs tremendous amount of resolve, you know? Like, you're killing some demons who you don't even know if they are, you know, at fault. This is like, you know, a tiger killed your friend and you, so you, like, decide to kill all the tigers in this whole world. Something like that. I don't know, that's a, I know that's a bad, like, you know, example, but I'm not so smart. I can come up with good examples. Okay, he's here. Uh, she's here. Norman, you have some explanations to give, you know? Like... Oh. Hmm. That's his inner, you know? Okay, wow. <laughs> like, you know, uh, Norman decided to do this, but he did not, you know, think about it. Like, he was unable to, you know, gauge what was actually going to happen. Like, there's a thing, you know, like, you think everything is going to go according to plan. You map it all out. Then when you go ahead with it, most of the times, you know, most of the times, it doesn't go as planned. That's what happened. Like... Um, like it's too much for him, which is, you know, kind of good in a way, because that means that the humanity in his in him is still there. Like if he was, uh, like you know, if he had his resolve and was really someone who, uh, like brushed all of these up, like you know, aside and said that yeah, I'm going to kill all the demons, and he you no know, went ahead with it without even batting an eyelid. That would have shown that he had really become a demon. He had, you know, cast aside his humanity and he has really become someone like them. Which is good. Like, it did not happen. Like, that means he's, it's still like, like, it, there is still a chance for him to be, you know, saved. Yeah, let's just see. But I don't know, like, after this, uh, the, the demons, the other demons are going to, I'm, I'm sure like they're going to get pissed and uh, like most probably they're going to, you know, is that the end? Yeah, I think so. Like most probably after this they're going to uh, send some kind of, I don't know, reinforcements, stop, not reinforcements, but uh, like do something for this situation, like track down Norman or like like do something to stop him something like that it's a, like it's a bad it's going to be a bad situation after this like i'm i'm like i'm guessing like it's the eighth episode so i'm guessing uh, in the next episode we're probably going to see like you know emma convincing norman or something like that and either norman will agree or disagree and you know like cut all ties with emma or like change his methods that 
and like I'm, I'm, I'm sure like in the ninth episode we'll cover, we'll cover that and from the tenth episode most probably like uh, we're going to see the you know the result of the thing that uh, Norman did here from the tenth episode like what how is this going to change the whole you know like well, like obviously this is a big thing like he completely destroyed a whole town so I'm sure like the news will go to the you know higher ups and they're going to do something about this so like uh, I'm guessing like from the tenth episode onwards we're going to get some kind of like demon versus humans kind of thing so yeah not humans but kids like uh like the gracefield kids and the other like normal new friends yeah and okay so uh in the beginning of this episode we see what happened to norman kind of a little bit like they showed us and i'm not sure if they you know uh cut portions from here as well or is if this is something that you know like this uh good at like the adaptation is not you know rushed or something i'm not sure but it felt a little bit you know less the amount of flashback we saw like i was thinking we're probably going to get the whole like episode of flashback but they wrapped it up in five minutes so i'm not sure if they you know cut some parts or something but oh well like it's better than nothing you know like at least we got some flashback and they got to know what actually happened. Now, this guy, uh, what's his name? Peter Ratri. Um, I don't know, like, yeah, he is the typical anime villain. I want to control the whole world, something like that, <laughs> you know? That type of a person. Ah, generic, as I say. But obviously, like, uh, I'm not sure, I'm sure, like, he'll, we'll see him later on in the anime as well so yeah and we did not see how like he reacted after you know norman completely wrecked the whole place and <laughs> ran away i'm not sure how he reacted to that so yeah and um <clears throat> okay and then uh and we also see how you know uh he saved his new friends uh like vincent and all the other you know other friends are two uh, the other two of them and yeah and okay now i was thinking like he's uh, like sent <coughs> excuse me uh emma and ray to go find sonja and mujika because like he wanted to you know uh meet them and kill them or something i was thinking in in that direction you know like he just asked norman uh, uh, like emma and ray to go and find sonja mujika because he would probably uh, like use that as an opportunity to kill them like you know when they bring them here they're going to try to kill them then i thought but it turns out that was not actually his plan his plan was to you know uh, send emma and norman uh, why the hell am i it's always saying norman <laughs> emma and ray okay emma and ray to like find them for a few days like you know make them like leave the place so that they have enough time to complete the preparations and attack the town like village or town whatever that is um yeah that was his plan so it's quite a simple plan you know like i never saw it coming like it was so simple the plan was like he said that you guys go there and like find me something uh, i'll wait for you <laughs> they went to find it and he like <laughs> took that time to prepare like for the preparation and everything and did it anyways which he said he would not do <laughs> oh boy like the plan was so simple like it really did not you know come into my mind that it would be so simply done but yeah sometimes you know the simple is the best like his plan was so damn effective that <laughs> like yeah like he completed it but you know uh the like he had all of these plan all of, he went according to his plan but his plan did not have the you know um, what can i say like in his plan he did not think about will he really be able to carry on with it like will his resolve waver in the midst of it <sighs> that was not there so yeah and okay so i'm going to talk about that later on the whole norman thing 
okay so after that um we see um uh well, emma and ray and don gilda them trying to find sonjo and mujika for quite a while and uh, this is weird spider demon again <laughs> yeah i'm not sure what its name but it looks like a spider so i'm calling it a spider demon <laughs> so, <laughs> so that spider demon comes in and sonju mujika saves him uh, saves them and i'm sure like after like in the end i think like they have come here like sonju and mujika alongside uh, ray and emma so yeah so they were able to you know bring them here okay so yeah and then we get to see the you know plan the normal's actual plan. now one thing you know um like like how did they come here so quickly like emma and uh ray and all the all of them like, like when they found sonju and mujika the explosion happened and they had spent almost five days like looking for sonju and mujika okay like i get it get it like they were trying to find them so obviously the distance is not equal to five days like i'm sure like they kind of you know loitered around the whole place and took and took it took a lot of time so i'm guessing like uh the distance was at least uh at one day's worth so how did they get there so quickly you know um oh oh maybe uh, okay they have the they had the horses oh all right okay okay uh i'm, I'm like oh so okay so they i'm, I'm guessing like they got on onto like uh, sonju's horse and like like you know galloped back okay okay that's kind of you know uh like understandable i was thinking like how did they come there so quickly like they just watched the whole explosion happening so how were they able to come so back so quickly and i'm sure like you know norman uh, like the whole thing happening it took a while like six or seven hours it took for the whole thing to go down and uh like within that time they with on with the on their horses kind of got the time to come back quickly and like you know a witness the whole thing happening yeah and okay and then we uh, like find a like grandpa demon who is like calls em, like, like says emma now at that moment i kind of made a mistake i thought that he was probably talking about emma you know like our emma uh so like i was thinking like maybe it's the same grandpa demon you know who went and like gave them fruits and stuff and obviously because like of that like he knew emma's name i thought and like he thinks that emma is a demon that's why he was you know concerned about emma I was thinking along those lines, but turns out that is not the case. It's a lot more simpler. Like his grandchild was Emma. <laughs> Emma. Okay, so yeah. And now, now here's the like after this the thing happens. Like he like Norman witnesses demons also having empathy. You know, demons also having emotions which obviously he was not accustomed to he never saw demons you know caring for others now like which obviously emma understood a lot earlier that is why emma wanted to stop norman and his plan but unfortunately norman did not you know listen to that and he went on with this plan and yeah like he did not have enough resolve for doing it but that is also you know uh like a good thing in a way because that means he is still you know human like he has not uh like cast aside his humanity he is still like like empathetic towards others and he still has emotions yeah and and then we like as we are seeing like uh like that grandpa demon was trying to feed emma his blood so that the degeneration does not happen all of those stuff like you know like like as I, I was saying this before like this is like a situation where like you have like someone has been killed by you know like your friend has been killed by a tiger or something like that and you find that and you think that i will destroy all the tigers from this whole universe uh, from this whole on, from this whole world and you start on going on an expedition and burning down forests killing tigers here and there and like destroy all of them this is something like that you know like a few demons were the reason behind you know your suffering and you are 
trying to eradicate the whole demon species because of that so yeah like that's not a solution like i get it like like the own the, the extent i can like we can allow the whole like killing demons to happen is the you know the extent where like uh it extends only to the demons who have made you suffer you know all of the demons who are like the who are on the higher ups who made these kind of rules who did not you know make some kind of rule that would protect the humans from them like they like worked only on their own selfish interests those bad demons like they are like you know um like they should be punished they should be killed something like that not these demons who has nothing to do with it it's like you know uh, they like they are only living their own life according to the rules that those demons set like you know those demons like made i'm sure like they made no rules like saying that humans should not be killed you know if they like if they were good demons and they like wanted uh, the best to happen to the humans as well they should have made some kind of rule as to how to you know stop the whole exploitation of humans situation now i get it that they need human you know flesh otherwise they would degrade but i'm sure they could make some other kind of rule for that you know like some something like if like they sat sat down and made some kind of a discussion they could have found some kind of a loophole and some kind of something and went along with it which would probably be more you know better than keeping humans as you know cattle animals in like in like orphanages like and they're like little kids like that so the fault lies with the hierarchs that's the main thing and norman like because of their sins norman is killing all of the other demons who has nothing to do with it like little kid demons all of them that's wrong you know like that's extremely wrong um i feel like i've had this discussion before in attack on titan as well you know <laughs> like i'm thinking like how like like the similarity between these two has become so much i'm not sure like which came first i think attack on titan came first yeah yeah i think so before like promise neverland <laughs> so like it's so like similar like like norman is like Aaron, you know Aaron trying to uh save everyone by killing the titans uh, not titans but the enemies it's a similar thing but but Aaron is a lot more you know uh what can i say like he has closed off his mind a lot more than like norman was able to do here like normal still has empathy and still like you know wavering between his decision which i think is good you know like obviously we don't want a uh, like little kid to start like killing all of all of these you know, like like even though they are demons like normal is just a you know like a kid like yeah like we don't want that i don't know but anyways so yeah like uh, in the next episode i'm guessing uh, like uh, oh and also in the end we see like emma looking at norman and norman was shown in his you know little child form uh, kind of crying and uh, like you know wavering which like shows his inner turmoil so yeah so yeah like i'm i'm, I'm sure like in the next episode we're going to get the continuation from this and something will happen either norman will accept emma's you know decision and all of it and he will be saved or he will become a complete you know demon lord or something like that <laughs> and like reject his human humanity or something along those lines either of those so let's just want, wait so yeah guys that was it that was promised neverland season um two episode number eight so yeah guys uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys um, i'll be back with another episode of promise neverland season two next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day